Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we are going to commit a fifth page to the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia by examining the Kilo Kilo no Mi. The Kilo Kilo no Mi is a paramecia type fruit that allows its user to change their weight on a spectrum ranging from one kilogram all the way to 10,000 kilograms. It was eaten by Miss Valentine and its abilities were first displayed during the Whiskey Peacock. The etymology for this one is pretty simple. This Kilo is a prefix for various types of measurements. And in this case, it can be seen as the shorthand version of saying the English word for kilogram, which is in common use in Japan as they utilize the metric system and therefore stole the word from English, who uh, stole the word from the French. As a result, most English translators translations adhere directly to the name of the Kilo Kilo no Mi, with the notable exception of the Odex dub, a dub company based in Singapore who called it the Pound Pound Fruit, despite the fact that Singapore uses the metric system. And the distinction between pounds and kilograms here is quite important in regards to the range of weight accessible by the user, as 10,000 kilograms equates to roughly 22,000 pounds. So changing the name of the fruit to control between one and 10,000 pounds is a pretty massive difference. So just before we get into more detail, just a little note on mass versus weight. I think it's very important to point out that mass is the amount of matter any particular thing in existence contains, while weight is the measurement of a pull of gravity on that particular thing. In the case of the Kilo Kilo no Mi, this fruit affects weight, not mass, meaning that the user is essentially able to manipulate the gravitational force applied to their body in relation to their stationary mass. So the immediate benefits of the Kilo Kilo no Mi are generally related to maneuverability. Taking your body down to the bare minimum of one kilo could allow you to achieve some particularly diverse movement given that your mass isn't affected. So you can expect to be able to do things like jump absurdly high and run significantly faster because your muscles have much less resistance to push through. On the other end of the spectrum, you could effectively ensure that nothing is able to move you whatsoever by increasing your weight to the very top of that scale at 10,000 kilograms or 10 tons for the sake of simplicity. To put that into some perspective, that is one and a half male African bush elephants. So that sounds pretty damn heavy and practically immovable without some serious planning and equipment. Of course, the creative bulk of the fruit comes with the ability to quickly switch between these two extremes. For example, let's say we take our weight down to one kilogram jump high into the air and then immediately switch to 10,000, resulting in a drop of incredible force and devastating impact in regards to whatever you land on. As it appears in the series, the Kilo Kilo no Mi seems to only affect the user's entire body rather than select portions, which is a shame because if the latter were the case, then the Kilo Kilo no Mi could be very potentially powerful. For example, imagine a simple punch being propelled at top speed and then right at the moment of impact, you max out the weight on your hand, essentially hitting your opponent in the face with an African elephant. And if that sort of thing were possible, then we could think even more precisely, like condensing the weight entirely within a single finger and gaining access to an attack similar to a she gun. And given how little we know of this fruit, this sort of control can't be ruled out as a possibility, but it would most certainly require an advanced level of control from the user. Which brings us to Miss Valentine. She is a perfect example of an individual who overly relies on the initial discoveries of their power and never really attempts to explore its true potential. The most creative thing Miss Valentine added to the Kilo Kilo no Mi is equipping an umbrella, which allows her to glide through the air at minimum weight. She then increases her weight to maximum in an attempt to crush her opponents in a very clearly telegraphed attack. Deadly if it does land, but in reality, it should never hit any competent combatant. Other than that, the only thing Miss Valentine does with her abilities is turn herself into a glorified paperweight, sitting on people and gradually increasing her weight as a form of torture. As a result of this limited information and taking Miss Valentine's overly uncreative personality, into account, I feel like the Kilo Kilo no Mi would be far more effective in the hands of most other people. Although to be fair, we do have some evidence to look at in regards to this, given the character Mark Weiss has essentially the same devil fruit, but better. And he uses it in pretty much the same way as Miss Valentine. So hey, either they're both terrible users or the power of this fruit is quite limited. Now where the Kilo Kilo no Mi holds a fair whack of potential is in its awakening. Standard disclaimer first up, we have very little evidence on awakened paramecias to work with. So all of this is 1 billion percent speculation, but but what I feel would be the most likely result of an awakening is an expansion of the user's effect on the gravitational force around them. What I'm picturing is something like the room ability of Law's Devil Fruit, except that everything within that field now has a unique gravitational force applied to it, making people and objects heavier or lighter as the user of the Kilo Kilo no Mi sees fit. And in combat, that could be a pretty crazy ability, especially if you were able to maintain a separate control of the gravitational force applied to your own body. Some other miscellaneous things to consider when becoming a weight controlling human. The time it takes to change weight is not instantaneous, and thus it requires a fair amount of planning to utilize effectively, especially when moving between weight extremes. Although further training and proficient use of this fruit may be able to reduce this time requirement. 
Despite not affecting mass, the Kilo Kilo no Mi does offer some protection to its users. For example, when Miss Valentine crashes into the ground with the weight of 10 tons, she generally gets up with nothing but a few scrapes. And this just hurts my puny brain, because in the real world, surely an object would take just as much damage from a collision as the target. But hey, that's, that's not how it seems to work here, which is great because if this Devil Fruit did strictly adhere to real world physics, I suspect it would be pretty terrible. But in summary, the Kilo Kilo no Mi is a fairly intriguing fruit with a very simple premise and a somewhat wide range of applications that aren't particularly well displayed by Miss Valentine in the series. With that said, I still feel like the Kilo Kilo no Mi holds much more limited potential than most devil fruits in the world of One Piece. And while I wouldn't think twice about eating it, it certainly is closer to the bottom of the wish list. And with that, we are going to commit the Kilo Kilo no Mi to the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia. Next week, we will be examining the Bomu Bomu no Mi, a particularly explosive addition to the Paramecia class. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe. And if you are in any way keen on supporting this independent channel, then please do check out my Patreon, Discord server, or Twitter, the links to which are in the handy description below. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on the Kilo Kilo no Mi. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.